here I am on my Jay Bourne account. Um, it's just a train base. I just wanted to show you some of the features of the train base so that that way you can get used to it. Um, what you'll see here is uh, Asamo, he's one of our allies here, has his train. You got the engine in the front, the locomotive. You have to make a locomotive before you can make anything else. And then it will hold however many cars, all the same type, that you can uh, create. So in this instance, you have the ability to first create the locomotive. And then if you want a Panzer, um, Tribewagon, which 51 or T51, uh, that has a firepower of 500, armor of 100, and a group of five. So you can actually have five of those on one train. What you'll see here is what he's got here is the um, BP-44 train. It's the anti-air armored train. It's got 200 armor. Um, it fires 50 against anything not flying around, but anything flying around, it fires 1250 per car and you can have five cars on a train. Um, takes four minutes and 10 seconds to make each one of the cars and 750,000 steel and 25,000 uh, aluminum. Keep in mind that uh, if the uh, uh, airplane is firing at the trains or firing anywhere, then the uh, range of this BP-44 is extended to double. Um, some of the other trains that are in there are an ammo train, which basically it's only got 100, am uh, 100 armor, but it'll hold 100 uh, ammo per car, five cars. That's going to be 500 ammo per train. You're probably better off just going ahead and building those little cars and sliding them over there, you know, um, uh, the ammo cars. Let's see, what else does it have? Oh, it's also got a rocket launcher, 7,500 uh, 7, firepower, 150 armor. It's uh, not too terrible. You could actually have nine of those on a on a train, but each one of those cars takes an hour to build. It doesn't cost very much, and it also attacks air units um, with double range. So it's good for air, ground, etc. And not a bad deal when you consider the uh, impact it has on on shooting at uh, bases or shooting at whatever it might be around it's a good all-around uh, train to have so i would encourage you in fact i will go ahead and do i have the ability yes i do i will make a locomotive oh hold on ah i see it, well, i was wondering why it was grayed out it's because of the fact that i'm currently making more uh defensive towers you can see my defensive towers here are maxed out um, as far as the, the highest you can get. I think there's like six or seven layers and the seventh layer or the last layer is, it costs like almost 400 uh, gold to get it from the previous level. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause it making the defensive flak for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that train because I really wanna have a train now that I see it. So first thing I do is I make a logo. Takes 60 seconds. So just go ahead and enjoy that 60 seconds, but for the purpose of being nice to the, you guys here listening to this little thing here i'm just gonna go ahead and speed it up a little bit let me see that'd be 30 that'd be 15. okay good so it should be done by now great let me cancel this yes okay so now i got a loco in my thing now i want the rocket launcher train so i'm gonna get that it will make nine of them as long as i have up here that I want at least, and good, I got nine being made, so there'll be one extra, or it's repeated nine times. Okay, so 
I'm going to have a nice full train of rocket launchers. So let's speed that up a little bit as well. And that's what this half timing thing is. First one cost me five. Second one cost me five. Wow. Still five. Okay, two. Where am I? Okay, so there's three minutes and 30 seconds left before my first one comes out. I could let it run. Anyways, all right, so this is the trains. They're good to have. It's actually very good for me to go ahead and make this now because of the fact that I got this base below me that I clearly want to go ahead and make sure to take out. And train bases are important on pretty much all of these um, Hope Studio games. And that is uh, because what you're going to want to do is get your train bases and take over all the things around the train uh, tracks because these things will just shoot, shoot, shoot. The thing I don't like about these trains on this game as opposed to Panzer Rush is if you notice, this has an ammo of 30 per car. So 30 times nine, that's gonna be 270. But let's face it, all nine cars are gonna be firing at the same time, which helps in destroying flak or destroying your enemy, but you're gonna to have to replenish that all the time. So I don't know if you wanna go ahead and have a train, you know, full of a hundred, you know, full of uh, uh, some ammo, or if you're just gonna have one of those ammo cars. But long and short of it is, is that these trains here have an ammo thing and a reload time of three. So it'll fire, pause three seconds and fire again. So the key to remember on this game is that it restricts you on the amount of uh, ammo each one of these things has. And that's that's a pain in the butt whenever you're trying to attack something because you're constantly having to keep it loaded with ammo. You're, you're running ammo cars back and forth. You're running uh, ammo trains in. It's just a mess. And I think they did it on purpose to make it harder to go ahead and take bases. But, you know, who knows? Or they just realize, hey, wait a minute, when you're attacking and you need it, all of a sudden, maybe you'll go ahead and spend your gold on getting them to getting the uh, uh, ammo real fast. I currently have four bases on this account. You know, my home base, of course and uh, three regular bases. And I've only got two groups, so I need to make some uh, stuff here so I can help with attacks. So I think Jay Bourne is gonna make, uh, where's my BDRM2? Uh, yeah, no, go ahead and make the AM. Do I, yeah, I have steel. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and make these AML 60 because they are cheaper than the AML 90. See the AML 90? 135, 125 versus 95, 75. So I'll just make a whole bunch of those. And instead of 30, let's bump it up to 200. Boom. And I'll just let that go ahead and auto make. All right. So, anyways, long and short of it, this game you'll see on the map. There's blue dots, that's my allies. There's green dots, that's me. And then there's the red or brown, and that is the uh, enemy bases out there. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this. The goal here was to make sure that you understood how train bases work. Um, I always strongly recommend that you do put in these uh, repair cranes at train bases just to repair your trains and troops that will gather around. Um, I also strongly recommend that you have your bases well defended because train bases, air bases, helicopter bases, docks, those are your key bases and those are the things that people are gonna wanna take from you. They want them. 
clearly you wanted one because you went and grabbed it. So defend it. Always put up more defense than it than what you had to defeat to get the base. So if you went in and they had some defense like mine, well, make it bigger than mine. If they had a few sticks, well, you got to make it bigger than a few sticks. You can't just come in and say, okay, look, it took an hour to take over a base. Um, they had a lot of flax, something similar to what I have there. And you come in and you put in your level one, maybe six flak, a couple of flags and say, okay, I'm good. No, that won't work. The enemy will come back. They will take it from you. If we took it from them, they're going to want it back. And that means that you have to make sure to defend it. Okay? So there's some tips for you. That's about 11 minutes worth. So I'll go ahead and stop there. Thanks a lot.